He cannot scare me, and I want to try. So I can't scare you, and you want me to try. You're not. You're not. You're gonna know it's me immediately. Yes. And you're not gonna be scared. Yes. Okay. Everybody heard that at home, right? I can't scare him. He wants me to try to scare him. He's not gonna be scared. All right. Monday mail call, baby. Is that Monday? We got that mail, baby. We're gonna go through all this mail. Cause it's Monday, and Monday is mail day. Hannah, you go give me a, go give me a, uh, uh, a pair of scissors. Not a fan. Please. They were not kidding around when they were wrapping these two boxes up. You'll see why in a minute. <laughs> You know what's in there? Y'all know what's in there, do you? I don't know what's in there. Y'all gonna find out. <laughs> it's, it's a surprise. It's a surprise? Got a question? Okay, yeah, see this is the actual bag right here. Ah. This is just a cover Ooh, I for the bag. That was weird. Yeah, I think. Nice. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep that on there. Or not. <laughs> I'm gonna vote not. <laughs> so we got us some new, some new combat corner. Punching bags right here. I got your scissors. I'm gonna need them in just a minute. New combat corner punching bag. Let's see what they look like outside of them. Outside of this thing right here, my boy. Outside of this thing right here, my boy. <laughs> got to, got to see it, through, to see my it boy. through, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that video so much. <laughs> yes, it's so relatable. <laughs> so relatable. Not for me, baby. Not for me, baby. Not relatable for me. Have you seen that video? I've not. I don't know what you're talking about. We'll, we'll watch that. We'll get that on there. Okay. Woo-wee! Yeah! Woo-wee! Yeah! Look at this thing right here, my boy. <laughs> this new combat corner punch bag. Get us some new bags up. You know, a little heavier duty. You know, combat corner. We holding it down. We holding it down for the combat corner. That's nice. We nice. got us four new combat corner punching McBags. Let me see this thing right here. Let me show what else we got. Let me see what else we got. We got some surprises Yay. too. This is not the surprise. Okay. I mean, this is a surprise because y'all don't know what's in it. And I forgot what's in it, so. All right, this right here. My boy, new MMA muffin tops. Yeah. Green in color. I want these. Discounted. <laughs> you got green? We got green. We got, oh, I, I like that. These. I like that. And they're cheaper than the other ones we carry, that handmade in Thailand. These are cheaper. So, you know, you got to pay for those, right? They're not free to you. I know. Okay. <laughs> I know. Okay. Oh, these are so nice. New they fit me. Combat they corner. Like they'll fit me. I like that green color, too. That is nice. Muffin tops. Put all the folks in MMA. They want some muffin tops. And then we got right here. Look right here, my boy. Nothing too special about this one, my boy. We got some new. Ooh, these are nice. Hand punching, punching pad thingies. Little things you put on your hands when you punch things. What are they called? Boxing gloves. gloves. Yeah, called gloves. Oven mitts. There's some boxing gloves. <laughs> Oven mitt gloves. Oh, God. All right. And right here, let me show you. <laughs> man's got a pair of scissors, be careful. <laughs> you padded your hands, I got a sharp object. Look right here, some more, some more of these. Now it's time for the, for the for prize. I like a lot of tape. Buy one of these. That's right, y'all. Why did they put so much tape? It had to be secured. <laughs> wow, what's this? You're about to find out. I want to know now. You guys are quiet, pay attention. I want to know now. Now I know that these one of those things, your strong suit. But you gotta practice. This is your practice for being quiet. Be paying attention. Practice time. We got some. It's heavy. You just gotta wait. Check it out. Y'all hear that? Y'all no. Y'all hear? I don't know. Get back, get back. <laughs> I had a dream quiet. last night. And patient. Y'all ready? Oh, now that I think about it, I don't know how. New I'm Muay Thai teardrop bags. Ooh. Ooh. So practice your knees and elbows on the teardrop bag. Black and red, you know, relentless colors. 
Nice. Oh. We got two of them. New combat corner teardrop bags going up on that bag rack back yonder. Y'all get ready. This is the That's perfect so bag cool. for practicing the art of eight limbs. You can practice your kicks, your knees, you can clench, throw knees on this thing, elbows, everything. We'll make another video showing you how to use it. We got new teardrop bags, baby. Two new teardrop bags plus new combat corner bags. It's going down. Let's go! Laptop. It ain't my laptop. I care about things that belong to me. All right, guys. Time for some sparring. What's that? Actually, it's time to warm up. Then it's gonna be time for some sparring. Well, we're gonna warm up. Then we're gonna do round. We're gonna do wall work rounds. Then we'll do sparring rounds. All right, guys. Let's go and get started. We're gonna start first round just shadow boxing, moving around a little bit. Move around, shadow box. Let's work. Warm up a little bit. Get these guys started. I'm still a little, still recovering. It's a little, still a little under the weather. So no, uh, no sparring for me today. But next time, next time. Awesome. Don't hit the camera now. Nah, no, Don't no. Don't hit the camera now. I got very good precision with this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> The Velcro will eat you alive if you don't, especially with these older gloves. The Velcro will eat you up, skin you up. I'd rather spar without a mouthpiece and do wall work without tape on my gloves, bro. Oh, oh. Um, they duck, so you get your partner, take a, you're gonna take kind of a pause between each strike. Come here, what? He's gonna throw his jab, I'm gonna slip it. Two slip, one duck, or fade, two duck under it. So again, that slip, slip, fade, duck. I lost my balance a little bit right there. All right guys, on the bell. Shoulder tag. This is really fun, fun little drill. Getting that shoulder tag in. One round of this, be over in about 45 seconds, and we'll start wall work. <laughs> Time! Alright guys, you just keep water grab. We're gonna be working for takedowns. You can do strikes, watch no, no knees to the head or elbows to the head. Watch your power with your knees to the body, but uh, you know. Knees of the body are good. You can faint the knee to the head, just don't throw it real hard. Uh, and takedowns are good. Once you are in an established position on the ground, reset back up and start over. Um, if you started with your back on the wall after the takedown, or just reset, other person puts their back on the wall. All right, guys, good partner, let's go. One, two, three, three. Here we go, guys. We're going to take down. Starting over under. Starting over under your grip. Okay, see if you have an underhook. Ready? Let's go. Woo! <laughs> 
<laughs> Go. <laughs> How's party? I'll stick it up. <laughs> just a Walmart. I'm just a Walmart. Just engage you, man. What can I say? Yeah, I'm Wish.com. Just engage you. Apparently, Boomer too. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> I don't know if anybody actually said Wish or Walmart version. I'm saying it though. <laughs> Are we going to go to Barrel or Longmore tonight? Uh, yeah. uh, yes! I love dumpster diving at Longmore. All that like steak gristle and fat. Oh, that's so good. It's my favorite. Love it. Dumpster diving at Longmore. Oh gosh, man. When, I, when it's time for supper, nothing makes me happier than my wife says we're going to eat out of the dumpster at Longhorn. You eat bones? You dig holes in your yard? I think he's a puppy. He smells like a puppy. You smell like a dog, a doggy. Good boy, Luke. Good boy. Good boy. It's a good boy. Yes, sir. It's a good boy. It's a good boy. It's a good boy. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can get his leg going. Let me see if I can get his leg going. Let me get his leg going. I'm gonna get his leg going. He's trying to bite you now. <laughs> he's like he's trying to bite your shoulder now. <laughs> Did that hurt? You just hit headbutt of my tooth. Did that hurt on your head? Like Peace. Let me find this bitch. Let me find this bitch. This mother right here had me thrown off because I can see him out of my peripheries. You know what I mean? Like I got my peripheries working. And this dude over here just talking shit on the side. I can see his mouth I'm not moving. Talking shit, I, I can see I'm his like... mouth moving, mocking me. And he's over here just talking shit the whole time. Because he was like, uh, like, oh my god, look at like, like, this. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Look. God, dude. I don't care where you got it from, man. You gotta quit doing that shit. We're sitting here trying to make a fucking podcast. This dude is fucking everything up. I, I should keep going. I couldn't. I couldn't focus on what I was trying to see. Y'all want to keep drinking stupid ass Tyler? I couldn't focus on what I was trying to see. Let me find say. it, man. I'm sorry. I'm <coughs> I can see him out of my peripheries over here. I can see his mouth moving. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the most frustrating shit ever. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Help bro, bro I, was, I had a political conversation I would have with myself for the past three hours today. Before I left the house, I've been having a political conversation with myself. What's the topic? Uh, just understanding like what each political like spectrum's actual beliefs are, because most people don't don't know. Most people don't actually know like the political spectrum and what each like party believes and where they land on the political spectrum. They they think of it totally wrong. And I had I had this whole like conversation in my head today like mapping out exactly where each party landed on the political spectrum and like what their core values and beliefs were and why like you probably believe the way that you do. It may not be the reason that you think it is. And I had this whole political conversation mapped out in my head. That'd be a dope co conversation because uh, not only that, you know, a lot of folks today think that there's only two political parties. Right, well the thing is too, like getting outside of the mindset of political parties and getting into the mindset of political beliefs. Because the thing about it is like, you may have a political belief that doesn't align. Now you're just being distracting now. Just Me? we ain't even on the podcast no more. You still just get your phone loud as fuck. What am I doing trailer. now? I'm trying to find the thing that you want me to find. What do I do now? You ain't never talked like that in your life. This that come from? Oh my god! My I've never heard voice. that. Who are you? Where did that come from? That's my regular voice. That's Cooter Brown right to, there. I be trying to play on the podcast like I don't sound like this in real life, but I can't really help it because that's the way I sound. Shit, that ain't a thing but a chicken wing. <laughs> Give me some grease, I'll slide you a piece. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, boy. I need another one. I'll take another one. I don't well, want no more because my eyelid's twitching. Dude, look, look. Polish off the bottom. Look. 18, honey! And also, I was going to say that uh, on the sports side of it, you know, Anderson Silva box last night. Oh my God, I can't believe we didn't talk about that. He beat the fuck out of Chavez, Julio Chavez Jr. last night. Really? Hell yeah. In a box Whooped his ass, but still went, it was a split decision. It was a legit. Did he win the match? match? Yeah. Split. Julio Chavez got beat by Anderson Silva. Hell yeah, he got his. Ears beat in. Really? From what I've heard, what I heard. I didn't watch it. For my next question. Who is Julio Chavez Jr.? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> He's a world champion boxer. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. 
He better than uh, mm -hmm. Hector Camacho, Macho Camacho Jr. Oh, There's is. not a soul in the world better than Camacho Macho. You don't think so? No, ain't can nobody be. He's Hector got, Camacho Jr. is that dude. He's got dude. G, dude. He's got fucking G. Y'all know who Hector Camacho Jr. is? Yeah. Hector Macho Camacho? Yeah. He was a boxer. He's a Mexican boxer. Yeah. Oh, I'm not being bullshit. He, hey, he was good. My stepdad, man. Eyes, my stepdad was a motherfucking Hector Camacho, macho. Let me, let me chinko. He's the best in gloves right now. Who? Let me chinko. Say it again. Let me chinko. Spell it. Spell it in English. One of the Russians or Polish or something like that. Spell it in English. Let me chinko. L e m o n c h i n k o. Some bullshit hey, like that, yeah. We've been drinking a lot. We've been drinking a lot, so somebody needs to climb the ladder and hang these these posters. When I get the top, I'll be like. You gotta put a screw in the wall or, or her. Oh, he didn't it. say that. You, you got, got a stud finder? Cause I don't know how to find no stud. Oh, he's a Hercules. Oh, stud, I know when this motherfucker is him right there. And him right there. And him right there. And him right there. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> this is perfect. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show everybody his Tyler's dick. Yes, please. Oh, Let's go. I was just getting ready. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just hit himself in the face with a down with a 45. 45 plate. All right. All right, shit. Let's go to the bathroom. I'm sure. I'm sure the world your penis. All right, I'm gonna let you. That's thank all you, I. Hey, thank you for coming, man. Yeah, man, you wanted me too. I got I you, bro. It, bro. All right, we back. Yeah, I, like, I like Dan. Dan, Dan Dan's, got, Dan's got a good one. I like Dan. We back. Everybody's seen Tyler's penis now. Gross. I've seen it many times. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I probably, I've seen it hard, soft, hey. left, right. <laughs> hey, oh yeah. Hey, oh yeah. <laughs> hey. Abraham Lincoln was a pretty big Federalist guy. Hey, y'all come over here because I'm going to give y'all some history. Luke Leanings. I'm going to say he's a cop. <laughs> Wait, he's a cop. Oh, oh, boy. Tupac Shakur. Where's Tupac? I don't know. I don't know his Political leaning. Biggie. I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's go back. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, Name a pilot someone political. <laughs> Drugs. Toward morality, but less lenient toward the freedom to do what you want with your money. What about my man, Richie Galley? I don't know who that is. Richie, the, he's trying here? Yeah. He jumps. I don't know who he's around He's last. jumping. It depends on who's around. Okay. Where you going, Wes? <laughs> <laughs> it depends on who's around now. Right? He's a serial killer, right? <laughs> oh, no. Why'd you do that? It's washable. It's washable. It's washable. It's, it's washable. only dry erase. Yeah, it'll come off. It's dry erase. It'll come out. Stop doing that or you're going to soak it in. <laughs> <laughs> I just licked Jake's shirt. You did just lick Jake's shirt. And I dropped this thing, look. Look at him, now, now he's gonna have to take it off. Yep. Is he? There it goes. No more shirt. Why'd I do that? Alright, I'm coming back. Why'd I take it off? I'm back. Why'd you take it off? It had a mark on him. I All mean, right. I did give you some saliva. Once to get again, it off. you have to separate personal ideology. <laughs> I got a white marker on my shirt. All right. You have to separate personal ideology from political ideology. That's right. I have a combi. And fish. I'm going to put a t-shirt on. Okay. He's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> what happened? What happened? My BFF Wesley. I think you might be becoming one of my best friends, man. You are really becoming like one of my BFFs. No, it's fucking crazy. Isn't it wild? It's wild. Because I, I think he's one of my best friends too. Uh, Making right. friends gives me a panic attack. Yeah. That yeah. puts you about right here. No, that's not a political That's thing. why I don't have friends. I come here, I come to the gym, I go, hey, bullshit, Mo, you got a bunch of friends. Mo, you always Mo, on the crawfish bowls, barbecues, Mo, bullshit, you, you, you got brought, more friends than anybody your age I've ever known. Oh, Okay, exactly. My, my, my circle is small. Bro, my circle is this big. You don't know how hey, to do this. Am I in your circle? This I'm room in circle and Joe. All right, look. That's look, my circle. Look, here's Jake's circle. That's it. That's, here's Jake's that's circle. it. Jake's circle, look. Joe. Tyler. West. That's it. Mo. 
<laughs> we put them on the edge. All right. Now, I'm only that far on the edge. Okay, all right. Mo's more inside the circle than that. Mo? 